Hello everyone, it is Charlotte here. Welcome, welcome to my home. So I am working on these little quilted covered um, journals that are going to go in a bag and I am trying to do I've had a couple people contact me that are interested and so I'm trying to do four or five of them at a time and I just thought I'd put the camera on it's something I typically don't do if I'm just sitting down and doing a, a Something like this, I typically don't put the camera on. I just sit and work, and I thought, well, let's put the camera on, and we can just have a visit. So I'm going through, and what I do to one, I'm trying to do to the other, but they're nowhere, they're not really alike, simply because I'm using scraps, and so it becomes, what do I have available? What can I use? And... um I'm where I'd like to add bits and pieces of lace. That's where I am right now. All the pockets are not in. Nowhere near there yet. But this is where I am on this. And nothing's decorated yet. But I just thought, was thinking, let's um, add some bits and pieces of lace and see and what i do to one uh because they're not exactly the same the the next one may be a little bit different and so on and so on so um it's kind of what's happening so i am at this page and i'm looking at this and i'm thinking what do i want to do so let's have a look at what I've got and see what I can come up with. So if I'm a little bit quiet, I apologize for that, but that's um, just me thinking, I think. I've got some of these cards. I think they were old Victorian calling cards from, I think it's junk journal, junk journal books junk journal oh I, I don't know if I find it I'll put it in the description box but I think it's junk journal books so I had been wanting to use I found four of these and I have been wanting to use these and I don't know let's see Get my thinking cap on. Let's get another book. This one's not working for me. So let's pull another book and see if I can get my brain going so that we can get something done. Let's see what this one's got going on. I think, is this a pocket? Yes, okay. Okay, let's do something with this right here. Okay, I think we are going to put this here like that. Lo oh, love those colors. Okay. So let's do that. And distress this. And let's distress around this too. So yeah, somebody contacted me to uh, recreate one of these and I just thought there's no way because the other one I had used, I actually 
I think these are cuter, so when they're finished, you'll have to see what you think. So I'm going to use a piece of washi tape just to go down the very edge of that. Just for something a little bit different. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. Put just a little washi there. Cut this off. So it kind of came in here without a plan. But sometimes that's the best. And then I'm going to put this right there like that. And then I am going to put some fabric up here. And I think I will. I love this red ticking. And this piece here with the roses like that. So let's fray this. Can't get it frayed enough. And I think I am going to use double. Like that. Save this little piece for something else. And then I'm going to take upholstery thread, I think, and tie this off. Take a piece of, I'll double the upholstery thread, tie this off. So we're not only getting rid of tags that I've had sitting around. using our upholstery thread and our scraps. So we're just going to tie a knot just like that and then we're going to pull these tight and cut our threads and then however long I kind of like that if you know whoever gets this if they don't like it they can always cut that off and then I think we're going to glue that to there and then when this opens up I think to make this a pocket. Hmm, I think we will. Let's make this a pocket. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I think that would be really cute. So maybe I should take a little divot out of that. Well, if I put something in it, you'll know it's a pocket. So then I am going to yeah, we're going to put glue on three sides of this. So we're going to glue, maybe, maybe not. It's amazing how quickly this um, gets a little clog in it. There we go, I think. Yeah, there we go. 
So we're going to glue three sides, the bottom, the top, and the side, leaving this open so we have a pocket. So we're going to just put that down like that. Open this up and make sure that we don't have glue everywhere. And then we are going to put a little something in there. So this will flip open and you could journal on here. I could do some stamp work on there, but you know, little pieces like that are always nice to have something to um, give you a little bit more journal space. So this is an Artie Mays stamp. And I will come back and put a couple more stamps in here, but let's see if this will fit. This will just remind me that there is a pocket right there. So that is good. And I think we'll put some lace here. But what kind of lace do we want? Let's see what I've got. So guys, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if you like this sort of thing. And if you do, then I will do it more often. But um, sometimes it's just not something I think about. Putting the camera on. I got this in this little bit and it'd be good to use this. That might be cute. And it wouldn't mess with this opening up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that there. So, get out a little bit of our fabric fix. Put it down on this. And put this down just like that. It's really cute. See if I've got it even, and I do. So we'll give this a chance to dry, and then I will come back and cut that off. Got some on there. I like that. I was hoping to use this up in these. So yeah, that's really cute. I like that a lot. And then we have this page, and we will come back. I will come back and put decorations on all of this. That's a tuck. So we've got this page here. Let's do something with this. I have one last one of these cute, cute pink doilies. Would make a cute pocket. That would be really pretty. And we could have a cute pocket right there like that. Maybe a button on that would be cute. Do I have any buttons over here? I do. Let's see. Let's find a button to put on there. Something maybe not too thick. I know, I 
there's got to be just a cute little white button. I think that would work. So let's do that, which means I need a needle and thread. And let's see. Can you see, Charlotte? No. So there we go. Let's see. Come on. Let's cut it. I'm trying to think of what's going on. I know everybody's getting snow and they're getting, they're having cold temperatures and I am, except for getting my teeth cleaned, and going to see my mother, which I have to wear a mask the whole time, so that's always fun. I am uh, staying inside. I'm not doing anything. So that is good. We're going to put this, and then we may come back um, and put put a charm on this, or a uh, might do a... Um, A, um, some safety pins, that sort of thing. So that's the last thing I'm going to do. So we're not there yet. What I'm trying to do now is just get my pockets on and have an idea for lace. And then we will come back and put all the finishing touches or as many like to say, the icing on the cake, and get that done. And then I will check the bags and see if I need to put more embellishments on the bags, and these will go inside the bags. I wish I could remember where I found these because they're so pretty, and I don't know if they were Happy Mail or if I, um, bought them. That's what happens when you have so much. You can hear the doves outside cooing. Okay, so we're going to glue this on it and we're going to have a cute pocket. And I think I don't want it too close to the spine because then you have issues. But I think right there might be really good. So it's always nice to have it hang over a little bit. Let's get some glue down. And I don't need a great big pocket, just a pocket that's large enough to put some cute tags in. Let's get this one. And I'm coming along with my Medieval Mirage. I'm so happy with it. Make sure that I'm not gluing this to anything else, and it looks like I am. I want you to be your own little pocket. You don't need to glue on to anybody else. You can just do your own thing. So look at that. That's so cute. Okay, so we've got that. So there's one little page. And then we've got 
got this is the medieval mirage which is so cute look at the back side of that don't know yet what I am going to do with that definitely need to do something with all of this Postcard's cute. That would be cute here. I think I am going to put this here. And I'm going to put this here because when you, um, if we put a paper clip. This can act as a tuck, and if we put a paper clip, we put this on here like this. When you op open this up, we can either have a pocket, maybe we will. Let's have a pocket. Do another pocket. Just a cute place to have another place to tuck something. So if I glue this in here like that, pull that back, this could be a pocket, and I could Put something could stamp something right over there. So where is my will this fit? Love with all your heart and it will. So let's see if we can do this. Love with all your heart. We will do this. So we need our glue. And we're going to glue three sides again, coming all the way over to the edge. Just like that. And then when you flip it over, you've got some stamp work. And then this is what I was talking about. If I do a paper clip right here, then we can put something in here. And this acts as a, um, as a separate spot for holding ephemera. But we need something in here to remind us that that is a pocket. And this might work. This too is Artie Mays. And I know that because I um, worked with this kit for a design team project. Just a few months ago, I think. slip that in there, close this, and use this as a tuck, but this needs something. And I think this might make it cute. Thinking a belly band. Want a belly band? Or I could use
if I got something small. This is cute. This says the end till dig forget. I don't oh it's not English. <laughs> okay, it's not English. That's why I couldn't read it. I think this one goes better because of the reds. So I think we might just make this a pocket. I'm going to take a tiny divot out of the top of this. Just a tiny bit. So that you know it is a divot. I'm going to put this in there and then I'm going to go on to the next little book and see what we've got in there. And then I will come back to this. And I'm just, I'm just kind of putting them on the assembly line, going through the first half of each one because I've not reached the center yet. As you can see, there's the center signature, and I am not there. Little guys just take a long time. They take a lot longer than um, larger journals. I'm not sure I know why. Maybe because everything is just tiny. Might put, you know what, that would be cute. Let's put some lace. Let's see how this looks. And because all my scraps weren't the same, it makes it great because each book, although it resem they resemble each other, they're nowhere near the same. And I think that makes that makes them pretty special. I should have checked the time before I started this video. Many times I like the wrong side of lace better than the right side because it's got all the texture. And I like that. This just adds something. Sometimes that's all you need. It's just a little something. And there's a piece of wet glue right there. Okay, so I really like that. All right, I'm going to pick this one up and put it off to the side. And then I am going to pick this one up. And let's see what we've got here. This needs to be glued so that we've got a pocket here, the bag. Just like that. This is the bag I cut to do the Mar um, Marguerite Miller planner. This is a tuck. We've got a bag. Maybe, what do I have in lace? Might put, do what I have. This little piece. That would be cute. This little piece right here, this might match better. That's cute. Is there a front and a back? I don't think so. What if we put a piece of Battenberg? What if we did that? Cut that off. Oh, 
I like that. Maybe we need a button. Let's put a button on that. Why is that be cute? What do we have? Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of this glue before it dries out. Let's do this. get through here. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Maybe. I feel like I should be telling everybody some stories, but It's hard to do that and to concentrate. If I had everything laid out, but I haven't planned any of this, so this is the creative process. So if you've been watching Lori, Girl on the Ridge, giving her some love, she sounds good. I mean, I know inside her heart is breaking. Well, her heart's broken. But um, she's sounding all right, and that makes me happy. Life will never be the same. But that doesn't mean it can't be good. She's got a great family. Okay, so we are going to do this. So let's... Get this down. We want to make sure it doesn't come up. And I kind of want the glue or the uh, crochet work and stuff to stick out because I think that looks cute. There's the back, and we've got this piece down here then. And I knew I wanted to do something when I put these corner pieces in. I knew I would never leave them just like that. So I might. I don't want button to button, though. So we might. This doesn't have any of this. That might be cute. And this is pink pink. But I don't think it matters. I can see where this is doing its thing. It is doing its thing. Where is a piece of something? All right, so I think I'm going to stick this down, and then I think I'm going to call this a day. And come back later. I've done something to all four of them, so that's good. This all needs to dry. Make sure that that will shut. This will get really just huge. The last one was just huge. But that's okay. I like that. It's so cute. All right. Okay, guys. I am just going to call this done for now until next time. And um, if you want, stick around for a second, and I'll show you what I did to Medieval Mirage. Let me move this out of the way.
I will continue off and on on these books. This is the cover of the Medieval Mirage. This is the back. So this is the cover and the way that this works I left these really long because I will be stuffing these envelopes, but this is the way that these work. What do you think? And then when you get to the center, this is what I did, and then I went ahead and created a pocket down here. So, um, ugh. It's just so pretty. I am totally in love with it. So I'm very, very happy how it went. So that is what's going on there, guys. And I'll be sewing the signatures in pretty soon. But okay, that is what I have been working on. And I will keep working off and on. And I appreciate you hanging out with me. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.